Hello, young mathematicians. I hope your day is going great. Today, we're going to do a quick video on adding double digit and single digit numbers. So, double digit. We'll start with some examples. Let's do 40 plus 5 equals, hmm, question mark, right? Well, the way that I'm going to teach you to do this is doing it vertically or in columns. 40 plus 5. Now, I don't know if you've done it this way in school yet. Now, when I say vertically, what I really mean is up and down in columns. Like the big number, the double digit number, goes on top of the single digit number. Okay, so what we're going to do, and I should stress that this is a double digit number because we have two numbers that make up the same number. And this is a single digit number because it's just one number. Now what we want to do is we've got zero in the ones place, four in the tens place, and we want to make sure that we line everything up just right. We've got five in the ones place. So you really want to make sure it's lined up, up and down perfectly or as perfect as you can make it. Okay. So zero plus five, we're going to do the addition of these numbers first and zero plus five. Well, that equals five because we, I think we're pretty good with our addition facts. We're getting there. We can always refer to our addition chart. If we're not sure what some of the um, sums are when we add certain things together, but zero plus five is five. Now here's where it gets interesting. So, four, now we're going to look at the tens place, which is right here. All right. Now we have to imagine that there is an imaginary zero right there. As you get more practice with this, you will just get very used to knowing that when there's nothing next to the ones place, or as we get into bigger and bigger numbers, you can just imagine a zero. And four plus nothing, or four plus zero, Oh, I forgot to put the five here. Four plus nothing is four. Okay? Four plus the imaginary zero is four. And there's our answer, 45. Let's do a few more examples, okay? Let's say we have 61. Oh, you know what? Let's say we do it this way. Let's say you're presented with this problem, 61 plus eight. Well, we're gonna line up the problem. Let's do another color. Let's do pink. I'm kind of in a pink mood today. 61 plus 8. Now, I want to caution you. I want to warn you about something. Sometimes I see kids do this, especially when they're just learning this. They're going to go, oh, 61 plus 8. So they're going to go like this. They're going to go um, 61 plus 8. Now, what do we notice here? We notice that the eight is not under the one, even though the eight is in the one's place. And now we are gonna need to add the eight and the one, but it's not lined up correctly. And what ends up happening is that sometimes students end up adding it this way, and that is going to give you the incorrect answer. So it is super duper 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 important so we line up these numbers as much in a line, up and down, one on top of the other, as we can. That's going to be really important. And we're going to practice because practice is what is going to allow us to always get it right. And then eventually you're not even going to think about it. You're just going to do it like automatically. So now we're going to do our, our up and down addition. Well... 8 plus 1, that's 9. And then we're going to move to this part, the tens place. And as we talked about, we have to imagine that there's a 0 there. And 6 plus nothing, or 6 plus the imaginary 0, is going to be 6. So the answer is 69. Our answer is 69 over here. Okay, let's do more problems. What kind of color are, are I in the mood for now? How about green? Let's do 75 
plus 4. What does that equal? Well, using this method, we are going to do 75. And then we're going to make sure that we line up the 4. Again, we're not going to put the 4 here. We're not going to put the 4 here. Uh-oh, that's going to cause problems. We have to make sure that because 4 is in the 1's place, that it goes under the 1's place in the larger number. 75 plus 4. Now we're going to add 5 plus 4. That's 9. And now we're going to add 7 plus nothing, or which is the same as 7 plus 0. And that is 7. 79. That's our answer. Our answer is 79. Okay? Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. What if I have a number like this? What if I have 36 plus 7? Now, this particular problem involves something called regrouping or carrying. And we're not going to get into it quite yet. That's for next week. Um, we're going to just stick with no regrouping right now and get some practice with that. Let's just do one quick quick example. One more. Let's do the color orange. Let's do 32 plus 6. What does that equal? Okay, let's do the work. Let's do the work. 32 plus 6. 6 plus 2, that equals 8. 3 plus nothing, or 3 plus 0, that equals 3. Our answer is 38, and on that note, my friends, I will see you next time. Please bring your questions to class. I cannot wait to see you, and um, I hope your, the rest of the day goes very well for you.